beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope on a life spent with you. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. All together worthy, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me somewhere as you pray this time. Hallelujah. We bow at your feet, Jehovah God, our creator and our master in Jesus' mighty name. We join the angels that are in heaven in thousands that bow at, at your feet, O oh God, at your throne, acknowledging your beauty, your majesty, your holiness. And we join them as we bow to say, you alone are God. You are worthy of all our, the honor. You are worthy of all the praises. You are worthy of all the majesty. You are worthy of all the adoration. King of kings and the Lord of lords, we are joined by the 24 elders in heaven and the four living creatures at the throne of God. They bow 24 hours. They bow in total worship to you. They acknowledge that you are God Almighty. They acknowledge in heaven that you are God the creator. They acknowledge that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. They acknowledge that you are God of all majesty. They acknowledge that you are from beginning to the from the beginning to the uh, to, to the end. You alone are God. They acknowledge that you are mighty. They acknowledge that nothing is impossible with you. They acknowledge your holiness. Hallelujah. And down here on earth, we are bowing, Lord, joining with them to acknowledge that you alone are God. The same thing they do, we are doing, oh God. Though human, Jehovah God, it is not easy for human beings to worship you in the midst of our trials and temptations and the many difficult things that surround us down here. But God Almighty, because of who you are, we choose to worship you out of your holiness. We choose to worship you out of your majesty. We choose to worship you out of your goodness. We choose to 
worship you out of your faithfulness. We choose to worship you, Jehovah, for with you all things are possible. You are not created, but we were created. So the created is bowing before the one who created. And we acknowledge that, Jehovah, you alone are God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, it is a miracle to see the second, uh, the, the, the first, the first uh, Tuesday in the month of August. Mm, this second day of the week, it is such an honor, Jehovah, to see the first Tuesday of the month of August, the new beginning month, and you have sustained me and my family, and you have sustained these viewers, oh Jehovah, men and women, young people and the children, all over Kenya, oh God and in Africa, look at what you have done unto them, we acknowledge that your goodness and your masses are sustained us, oh God, I acknowledge together with all these dear ones, Jehovah, because you have been good to your people, look at them all over Asia. Look at them all over Europe, well represented by those who are viewing. Look at them all over Australia. Look at them all over America. And we are all joining the heaven race to bow. My children, let us bow before God. Just bow. Just bow and wake up again. Just bow again and say, Jehovah, you are God. Jehovah, you are God. Say again, Jehovah, you are God. Jehovah, you are God. Jehovah, you reign. Just say that, my children. It is a miracle to be alive today. Oh, my family. It is a miracle to be in good health. It is a miracle to be born again. It is a miracle to have something to eat. It is a miracle to talk about God today. Bow, my family. Bow before the King of Kings. And tell him, Father, you are worthy. Open your mouth and say, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy of all the praises. Just bow, my family. Let us bow before our maker. Let us tell him you are worthy. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the adoration. You are worthy of all the praise. Jehovah, you are worthy. In the name of Jesus. That is you as Jehovah. Worship coming from our hearts to you. Together with those who are viewing right now. To say you are God. And now in this session Jehovah. I declare as your servant the miraculous. Visit your people in a special way. Let there be a supernatural encounter in this new beginning month. Let there be a supernatural encounter. Mm, this new beginning month, as you use my husband, our patron, for your own glory, as you use us to lead in worship, let there be a supernatural encounter to the people who will follow us today. For those who are taking time to listen and getting, you know, to be taught the word of God, the ones controlling the machines, supernatural encounter. And our Holy Spirit of God, it is all about you take over. Take over, take over, control everything, Holy Spirit. Jesus, we worship you and we magnify you in Jesus' mighty name. Have your way, Lord. It is all about you at your feet, that you feed us in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and we all say, Amen. And again, Amen. Amen and Amen. You are the word of the beginning. One with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you are Christ. What, what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a 
beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Holy. As we worship you. Miracles take place as we worship you. May this worship open doors for these great men and women and the young people and the children who are following us today. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, may the anointing of God be, 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 be revived and made a flesh in the life of our patron today in Jesus' name. Father, I silence that which is not from you. And I declare your move right now. Your move right now. Visit your people wherever they are. Visit them as you meet their needs. Visit them in hospitals. Visit them in quarantined areas. Visit them, Lord, for your own glory. And this is our humble prayer. It is now a movement with God in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And again, amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are prayers, your boundaries, ministries. Uh -huh. Uh, what is our vision? To see transformed nations and their leaders by the power of prayers and through the working of the Holy Spirit. And we have a slogan. We are a, a Daniel generation. That man who used to pray so much and believe in God and couldn't compromise. Hallelujah. A people of faith who survive and thrive even in difficult times by the power of prayer and through the working of the Holy Spirit. This is Tuesday, the fellowship for the prayers beyond boundaries, ministries, church, in Gara, in Maimahio, and in Noiroiro. And we receive also, we welcome you great friends from all over the world, those who follow. So if you see the things we are doing, we do them in church, it is a fellowship. It is a church fellowship. It is an honor to have you joining us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And now we can clap as we receive the servant of God. Who is going to receive the servant of God? You are going to welcome the servant of God and give his name? I give his name. Let me hear his name. Apostle uh -huh. Gonjere, <laughs> our pastor of church and our speaker today. Wow. <laughs> Holy. Holy. Dear ones, today, our theme topic today, we've been going through some of the understandings and uh, we are growing daily by the grace of God. 
and today we are going to understand how to make decisions how to make it's very important to know how to make decisions how the choices that we make because choices have consequences and from today and maybe next tuesday we grow deep so that we may know how to make uh, our our choices you can make a good choice it has its own effects you can make a bad choice it has its own effects because choices have consequences by the grace of god the servant of god our patron at the prayers beyond boundaries ministries and my husband celebrating 25 years with him tomorrow not 25 actually from the time i got to know you almost 27 years tomorrow by the grace of god i am here to say he is a miracle he is a miracle listen to the gift of god in Jesus' name. Uh, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, hi, dear ones, and praise the Lord. Uh, welcome to the Bible study for this Tuesday. And uh, we thank God uh, that uh, you are with us and you have joined us so that we can fellowship together. Uh, PBB members and those who are our friends who have joined us, Karibuni uh, Sana, and it's a joy to have you. And I thank God for giving us this opportunity uh, for us to come and share the Word of God that we continue growing in his word and understanding as we are conformed to the image of christ Amen. it's my joy again even to have you last uh, tuesday you were not with us i, I, uh, I was yes. not here but yeah. i was here you're still with us <laughs> but you're not with us yeah. here on camera yeah, yeah the so voice i have, have misused yes. my voice so much thank you thank yeah. you so much. even yeah. now i'm sacrificing yeah. Yeah. yeah because i don't want you to be alone uh, yes your, your voice uh, your voice uh, of course uh, is a big asset and a big asset. Yeah, I yes, have to take care yeah, of it. Yes, it has to be taken care of. Thank you. And I believe that, uh, mm -hmm. of course, you're going to uh, get uh, refreshed even as you uh, continue feeding as on God's As we continue word. feeding on God's Because word. the word oh, is God. life and health to all our flesh. Say it again. Uh, yeah. The, the word, word of God, God is life. It is life. And health. And health. To all our flesh. To all our flesh. Yes. To God. So as we good. feed on the word, yes. healing is coming. Even for you, wherever you are, mm -hmm. if you believe in the word of truth, as we are sharing the word of truth, yes, you are receiving that healing. Amen. Wherever you are. Amen. So just believe, uh, because this is the truth. Yes. We cannot change this truth, and that's why we, as uh, evangelists, have said here that we have to make the right choices. Yes. We have to go back again. I remember even last week we mentioned about. Uh, uh, making the right choices by actually first understanding because we have to understand mm -hmm. because that's very key mm -hmm. yeah because when we understand the word of god then yeah we'll be able to make the right choices amen so even as we continue with this yes even for today mm -hmm. yeah it is important for us to carry this consciousness in us at all times because what we choose and what we say they all have consequences Come again. we have to be very careful what we choose yeah. because and you know what we say. and what we say yes uh, yeah uh, actually i remember even how my life was previously yes. uh, yeah. Tell when them. i was uh, well when i was in the world that time, I, that when, time uh, I didn't know uh, you uh, yeah that time you didn't know me <laughs> and even <laughs> when i got born again uh -huh. i still struggled in this life and uh, when i look back uh, where i was then and the way i am today it is not my good that has changed me it is not my being perfect. It is not anything yes. that I've done in my own self, in my own strength yes. that has changed me. Wow. It is the word of God. The word of God. Yeah. And as I focus on the word, and as I focus on Jesus, I behold him. Yes. As I'm beholding him because he's the one, he's the one that I am seeing, I'm being conformed to that image. What because is beholding? What, yeah, beholding is actually what what to uh, behold is to look to focus on what you're focusing on yes. yeah what you're focusing on mm -hmm. because whatever you're focusing on yes that is what is making you because that's what you're going to have in you yes. the image that you have yes what image do you have because it is important for us to continuously because the word of god tells us even in ephesians yes uh, that we are supposed to be imitators of god of god ephesians 5 1 we are supposed to be imitators, imitators of, god. of god yes patron yeah? If we are to be imitators of God, how can you imitate somebody that you have no idea of, of how they are? <laughs> <laughs> or what they do, what their character is? Yes. Yeah? So we have to imitate God yes, in yes. every way. 
the way he created us. And after the fall, we were restored. So it's important that we get to learn. That's why it is important for us to understand. We can never get ourselves out of the system that is there in the world. We cannot get ourselves out yes. of the system. Yes. We have, because we have, the world is a system. It's a system. Yeah. The, the world system, is a system that is there in the world. And also the kingdom of God is a system. Yes. Yeah. And that is what God had designed for us to from the beginning. System. Yes. yes. Uh, because our Adam and Eve, yes. you know, they were living that life being led by the Spirit of by God. By the Spirit of God. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were not conscious mm -hmm. of now the natural uh, senses, the five senses. Yes. They were not carnal. You told us that. Yeah, we mm -hmm. said that. Yes. So if they were being led by the Spirit and they were controlled by the Spirit of yes. God, God wants us to live that kind of life. Yeah. But we have to go back again to yeah, where they also fell because these consequences mm -hmm. still come to us up to this day. The consequences yes, of, their of the choices, fall. yeah, of, the, of their fall and they are making the wrong choice. Tell us now. Yeah. Tell us that. They are making the wrong choice. Yes. Has, has uh, the consequences that we suffer every day. There are choices that we have to make. Every day. You see, even choices. like now, yes. I have to choose. I have to choose mm -hmm. to love you and my family. Say that again. Even when I don't feel wow. like it. Yeah, even wow. when I don't feel like it, you make a yeah. choice because God is love. If I'm going to imitate God, God is love, He can't change Himself. So, if I'm going to imitate Him, then I have to make the choices of who God is. Make yeah, the right yes. choices. So, I choose if He is love, yes, and He has poured this love into our hearts. If He has poured this love into our hearts, yes, so I already have that love, so I can actually be able to wow. give it. Wow, yeah. I can give because you can't give what wow. you don't have. Wow. Yeah. So if I'm going to imitate God, yes. I have to love, I have to forgive. Yes. All that He has done for us, this is one thing that we, we have to be doing. Yeah. But we are not doing in our own strength. We do not have strength yes. that yeah. can Yeah, because in the world system yes. you have to force yourself actually even to love. Because I will love you depending on what you are doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what if, I'm giving. Yeah. Uh, if you're not uh, you're reciprocating by doing the same thing, you will not I will not. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the system is, of the world. That's the system of the world. But the system totally, in the kingdom in of the God. the kingdom of God is different. Because you are in another realm. Yeah. We are not in the same. So I don't, even if we have the free will, we have to make the choices. Yeah. God did not make us zombies. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did so, I? Did yeah, you hear that? We are supposed to be enjoying. That's why we are supposed to be living the abundant life. But it's out of the choices that we we make. make. Yeah. Last week we looked at, at uh, the choices of making uh, choices for peace because peace is already in us. Yes. So everything follows after that. We have to make choices. Choices. Yeah. And now. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, one thing that we have to focus on, so that we choose to. Uh, do what God has commanded us to do. The same way he did with Adam and Eve. With Adam and Eve. And you yes. remind us what he did with Adam yes, and Eve. And I want us to As I tell yeah. these great people, yeah. dear ones, you are there struggling. You are there in pain. You are there not knowing what do I do from now. You are there feeling like you have a call from God and you don't know how to work out this call. You are there not knowing the decision to make. Don't change that dial. Don't touch it. The reason why you are there, it is because God knew so well that your help will come from him using his servant. Because our help comes from God, Psalm 121. But you know, God uses his servants to deliver to us. It is like cooking and then the food is brought to you. The Lord has already cooked, but he has this meal being brought to you. Why change that dial? Why leave? Even if you feel you are not understanding, you are not getting it, keep listening. Keep listening. Just stay there. The Holy Spirit of God will transform you right now and you, are, you get to understand about making choices. Back to the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Adam and Eve, Mr. and Mrs. Adam. <laughs> yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Adam. Mr. and Mrs. Adam. <laughs> there, there. Because they were commanded. Can we read, can you read that scripture? Can you, can you. We start off with that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to read the whole chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can go and read Genesis chapter 2. But I'm going to read from... Uh, Verse 16. Yeah. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. Note that and underline that. You yes. may freely eat. But of the tree of 
the knowledge of good and evil, mm -hmm. you shall not eat it. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Can yeah. I read Maximize? <laughs> yes, read the Maximize. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining the Prayers Beyond Boundaries Ministries Fellowship. Yes. We are the senior pastors at the Prayers Beyond Boundaries Ministries. I'm Evangelist Lucy Wal Gojiri. You can call me Reverend. That's okay. And this is our pastor, Lamek Gojiri, who happens to be my husband by the grace of God. No, I don't happen. I am. <laughs> who, who, who is? He is English. <laughs> and you pray for us, by the way. Like tomorrow, you wake up in the morning and pray for us because we have testimonies over testimonies eh? for being together for 25 years since I say I do. And this is Genesis chapter number 2. I'm reading from verse 15. The Lord God put the man in the garden of Eden to care for it and work it. Then the Lord God commanded him, you may eat of the fruit from the tree in the garden, but you must not eat the fruit from the tree which gives the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat, if you ever eat fruit from that tree, you will die. Which yeah. tree? Yeah. From the, the tree that gives the knowledge of good and, and evil. evil. So there is a tree that gives that knowledge yeah, of good, of and, good evil. and evil. Yes, yeah. And he was yes, told, yes. don't, yeah. don't God dare commanded. you touch. Yeah. And God, God commanded. commanded. Yeah. Yes. That was a command. Yes. Do not eat. And if you eat of it, you will, you will die. surely die. It's a guarantee. Yeah? Because you have now chosen. Because you see, now this is where the choices actually came in. Yes. Yeah? They, they were given the free will. Yes. They were already given now the dominion power to be the ones who are going to rule the rule earth. Rule yeah? the earth, yeah? everything. Yes. So they had all that they, they needed. Yes. Everything was given to them. Mm -hmm. And they were freely given. Yes. And they were told that they can eat of any tree. Yes. Yeah. And it was actually free. We read that. Yeah. Of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat. You know, when I look at this, I see this is what God has already provided for us even today. Wow. Yeah? God has provided to By us His today. grace. Yes. By His grace. His grace has mm -hmm. made provision for everything. For everything. See yourself in that kind of a garden. Everything. Everything by his grace yes. has already been made available to us yes yeah but now we have to hear god's voice and choose to obey that command of course now we are in christ as a believer but you have to choose it doesn't just happen automatically you choose to you have that. to choose and if we don't choose then we actually restrict the flow of that power flowing the same thing that happened to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Yeah, I wish this picture can come out. Clearly. It is coming. You yeah. keep repeating it. Yeah. Don't worry. So that we get to see that. Yes. Even to this day, anything that I am doing in this life, if I do not go by what God has commanded, and I agree with the world system, I've already made a choice. It's wow. not that God wants me to suffer. It wow. is a choice that I've already made. God cannot force himself. But we ask God, God, yes. why are you allowing me to suffer? Why are you allowing me to go through all this? Yes. So we go through right. what, the, what we go through the, the choices, choices that, that we, we make. make. Yeah. So everyone yes. living under yeah. the face of the earth yes. today, yes. The, the life that you are living, the life that I live, the things that we do yeah. are all connected with the choices, the choices that, that we make. make. Yeah. All the choices that we make. Yeah. Because it started the same way. Uh, but we fail to see that, and at times we even actually fail to take it seriously. And even when we speak some of the things and we don't know the consequences of what we are saying, we'll get to that later. Yes. But for now, what have you had God telling you? Because his word, this is his voice, he's speaking to us every single day. And we have to make the choice, do I listen to his voice? Yeah. And that's the question I'm asking. Yeah. Whose voice are you? Obeying. Obeying. Yeah. Because out yeah, of the yeah. voice you make the you choice. Make a choice. Yeah. Wow. Whose voice? Take us there. Yeah. So that we get to agree mm. yes. that I will be making the right choices. Because with this, this is where the fall came. The yeah? fall. The fall came because now instead they of fell. Yeah, Adam and, Eve, uh, and you can imagine you have everything given to you, provided yes. for you. Yes. And you're just told eat freely. Eat whatever you want. That you want. Kachubari, yeah. choma, buzi, yeah. anini, nyamayagani, chakulagani, everything you are given kind of food. It's actually there. laid on the table there. On the table. <laughs> yeah, everything is but there. But there's some us. other food. <laughs> yeah. There is there's samaki pale kado, and yeah. God says, but that samaki don't. Yeah, don't eat. But it was still there. It was still there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
It was still there, but you are told, don't take that one because that one is not good for you. But patron, yeah. Uh, yeah. why is it easy for yeah. glass to do what we have been told not to do? Yeah. And not easy, you know, whatever I'm supposed to do, I do. But anything you tell me don't do yeah. is what I have the urge to, yeah, do. to do. Anything that you tell people don't do yeah. is what they learn to do. Yeah. Like we talk to our teenagers and we tell them, you, our teenagers don't do this. This relationship of the young girls and the young boys, wait for marriage, stop this. And they say, they, they feel they want to try. Yeah. You tell somebody, don't walk there because the paint is wet. Yeah. And you just want to confirm yeah. whether it is wet. Yeah. <laughs> now also somebody saying, you see, this marble, is there is curfew, don't come home at nine, all you're supposed nine. to leave all after <laughs> nine, but you just want to try. Yeah. What is this that makes people to love to do the things that they are told not to do? That is the flesh. It, it is the flesh. It is the flesh. Wow. The flesh wow. always wants to do that wow. which is contrary wow. to what the spirit is yes, saying. Yes, Paul was saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It is always the same. Im willi. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying it is important for us to understand so that we make the choices. You remember uh, that I was saying we have uh, we have uh, this power flowing in us because it's already in us. Yes. Yeah. But it has to flow out of us. Us. Yeah. We have to choose uh, like what I was saying. Uh -huh. We have a tap cold and hot. And hot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but it's coming from the same from the same tap. Yeah, from the same tap. From the, the same one tap. has carried somewhere yeah. to show you it is hot, and yes. the other one has yeah. kablu to yes. show you that yeah. it is cold. But now I have to choose: do I want to have the hot? Do I want to have the, uh, the, the cold one? So, so, so in our spirit, it's the yes. same thing. I have all; it is already there. The, wow. the grace of God has already provided. It's already there in my spirit, but I have to choose mm -hmm. what comes out of me. Uh -huh. Yeah. So as yes. I listen and I hear to, I hear God's voice. Yes. Yeah. Then I have to make the right choices are we together wow i hope you're following what i'm saying wow that we have to make these choices at times we assume and we assume things are just going to happen yes everything that we do and the choices that we make uh -huh. from the ones that we speak they all have consequences that's why it's important wow. as we are wow. studying the wow. word of god as we are, as studying we are the Yes. As we are focusing on Jesus, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, because we are focusing on Him, yes, and we know when we focus on Him, we mm -hmm. are being conformed, yes, to His mm -hmm. image, yes, there. Yeah. So it's important for us to, yes. uh, to focus on that. Wow. So, wow. What was given freely? Let's see today is God's grace, God's provision for us. Yeah, it's already there. It has already been laid on the table. Now it is me to choose. Am I going to eat it? Am I going to receive it? You are getting the grace yes. of God with what speak, happened yeah. in the Garden in of the Eden. Garden. That was freely given. What Adam yes. and Mr. and Mrs. Adam were told, don't ever eat because if you eat, you surely die. Yeah, you surely die. But they still yeah. did it. Yeah, they still did it because, uh, well, it's because the of same the flesh. thing. Uh, yeah, it's the last of the eyes. We are going to read that scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the last of the flesh. Uh, yeah, and the pride of life. The pride of life. Only those three, <laughs> those three things. Yes. Up to this day, mm -hmm. this is how the temptation that we suffer with both three yes, yes. comes in. It is nothing else apart from those three. So and Jesus was tempted in all in, in all, all this. Yeah. So you come yeah, back to the grace of God. Yeah, yeah. Take us through that because you don't have a lot so, of I don't want yeah. to interrupt today. I want us to yeah. just go there. We yes. have 30 more minutes yeah. so that you can finalize in this. Yeah. It is an honor and a privilege, ladies and gentlemen, to be right. following and to be watching this. Thank you, thank you. I can see so many of you from all over and I'm very excited as our pattern gets in to teach us this. Maina Joseph Mwangi, what a beautiful name it is and you are excited in this to the glory of God. Teresa Jerry, thank you so much. Regina, our Pastor Julius, God bless you so, so much. Monique Miano, as always, thank you so much for forever being there for me, Monique Miano. Gedoi Beatrice, you have always been there for us. Thank you. Yes, Lord, the power that has sustained us, thank you so, so much. Murray Richard, always there, thank you so much. Get ready so that we can understand the, uh, what is it about the grace of God that has been released to us and the choices that were made by Adam and Eve. Kaidre, keep following. Mercy favored. Yes, you are the King of Kings, Lord. I'm waiting. Thank you so much. Don't change. And as you listen, may the Lord meet every desire in your heart in Jesus' mighty name. Nansa Kamau, Kamau, Nancy Kamau, as usual. God bless you so much. It's such an honor. Tabi the Jugona, our teacher. Tabi, it's a, such an honor. Thank you. Yes, Daddy, you remain worthy. Uh -huh. Thank you so much as you adore him. I can see this to the glory of God. We are continuing. So we'll see that later. Kaidre, Tisia Wagari. God bless you.
bless you so so much grace favored again my dear sister all the way from uk she's thank you there. she's <laughs> always there my yes, sister mary mary waboti thank you so so much mary favored you are there clarice j once again there to the glory of god and i like watching from huruma we have to make the right choice vg wajiro thank you so so much i love that and we worship George Nancy Geshoi always. God bless you so much. Our Evans Karaja Jr., God bless you so much. It's such an honor. Grado Mwangi always there. May the Lord bless you so, so much. Pastor Karioki, say hello to Pastor uh, Susan. Thank you so much. Every fruit we freely give, but one fruit was prohibited. I love this. <laughs> you got prohibited. it, Baba yes. Jeroge. You're hmm? very right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. as we are, no, you know we are continuing with this. Yes, we are uh, continuing. It's a yes, series. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's actually uh, a teaching that is good for uh -huh. us to digest. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, so that we actually uh -huh. make the right choices yes. in everything that we do in this life. We make the uh, right choices. We make the right choices. Yes. Being conscious of what God has already declared for us and what He has already provided. Amen. Uh, yeah. So go because, back to grace. Uh, yeah. You are connecting yes. grace. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. That is actually God's grace. I still want us oh. to focus on the choices, on the choices. that we make. Yeah. Because you see, now even with this other tree, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it had what? Knowledge of good and, and evil. evil. So it has good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the it tree that good. they were told not to touch. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it it has, has two good. things. Yeah. It has good and evil. That's where the world dwells. That's so where the world, that world dwells. has is from God. Come on. Yeah. Because it was still there. The tree was still there. Of knowledge of good and evil. evil. But it was not good for us. It was not good for you. It is so it was good. good. Yeah. It wasn't it good, good for us. It has something, an yes. element of goodness. Yes, yes, yeah. Now for us, like says James 1, yeah, every, every, perfect, every good and perfect, good and perfect gift, gift is from, comes from, from the above. From above. From above. Yes. So the good also comes from above. above. It's yes. from God. The perfect now is for us, yeah, who are believers. Yes. That is the perfect because we have the perfect one in us. So something can yeah. be good but not perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is not good. But hey. we have to make the choice. We have to be aware of this because I have the one who made the perfect sacrifice. Yes. Remember what we were teaching on that. Yes. Yeah. So that I now choose what is already in me. I'm not doing it in my strength. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm aware it's him who is in me. Yeah. So I'm allowing him now to live in me and through me. But I have to have knowledge because this has to come from, yeah, uh, through my head. I have to think, I have to study it. I have to believe it so that now it flows out of my heart. Wow. wow. Let me say this. Christianity is not difficult. Christianity yeah? is not is difficult. Not difficult. Mm -hmm. But we complicate it because of, uh, let me just say that it's uh, maybe the religious teachings. That we have it's, had it's how it's Haria it, 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 it is yeah. it is how we yes. were taught from the, the beginning. Yes, yeah. The way our 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 teachers of the word from the time we were little yes. to this thing, the way they received the word. Yeah. Because if you receive the word in error, yeah. you'll preach in error. And you live in error. And you also live in error. Exactly. And so that's the why there are even challenges today yeah, yeah, yeah. in the churches and in the yeah. I say this and somebody says you are lying. Yeah, yeah. I, another one says this and says he's right. Yes. Another one tells me you are not supposed to preach. The Bible says this as a woman you yeah. should not. Yeah. They, they dwell on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, see, I think that's, that's why we're told we should not be arguing. Yeah? Let's not argue about that because we should not we, argue yeah. at all. The word of God is the one because it's living and powerful. Yeah? We can be able now to tell with that which is from the soul that which is from the spirit. There is no place for <laughs> argument. So you are God all by yes, yourself. We not even be arguing about that. If one does not believe, that is a choice they have made not to believe what the word says. But because the Holy main. Spirit, yeah. But the Holy Spirit is there now to give us because actually he convicts us of this truth. When he's convicting us of righteousness, we know that even if when I fall, I am still righteous. But if I don't believe that, then I've already chosen, yeah, not to dwell or live under uh, that righteousness which has already been given to me as a gift. It's not a struggle to me, but I have to believe it. So I have to go to the scriptures, understand it, and receive what God's grace has already laid on the table. Now it's for me to receive. To receive. I have to receive that by faith. All right. So I have to make that choice. By so faith. if anyone who chooses that which is not according to what God has already made available for us, yes. that is perfect, for you and me in Christ, not in our own selves, yes. in Christ, then uh, you have already decided, or by default, you find yourself uh, in the world system. Wow. Yeah. That's why I was saying that even that which is good, because this can't confuse us, yes. it is good. 
Yeah, but they still evil. They still evil. They still evil. The fruit of yes. They still evil in knowledge it. Knowledge yeah. good yeah. And, evil. and evil. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, probably maybe I should maybe I just explain just a little by uh, actually saying what this good and what this evil is. Mm -hmm. Kaiji. Yeah? Kaiji. yeah. Let's say for instance, even uh, especially when we are sick, we go to the doctors. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, the doctor will tell you uh, that you're suffering from this problem. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that is a fact. That is out of the knowledge. Yeah. yeah? Uh, of that good. Yeah. And he will tell you, I'll prescribe these drugs for you. Yes. Yeah. Because this is going to help you. Yeah. But when you come to now the other tree, that is the other. That is a tree of yes. knowledge mm -hmm. of good and, yes. evil. and evil. It is still good because it's helping us. It's helping us even believers. Because if you don't have the doctors, yeah, we need them. Even the believers, even us believers, will them. be suffering. We need so we need much. doctors. But we have the truth mm -hmm. that cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. If the word of God is life, uh, yeah, and health to all my flesh, that tells me I can believe on the word uh, and, uh, and live a healthy life because that is His will for us, us. that we be in health. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is a choice that I have to make. Do I choose to hear what the, the doctor is saying? Or do I, which is a fact. Which is a fact. And it's it, a fact. And it's okay. To, it's yes. okay to have the and fact. There's nothing wrong with that yes. because it's still going to help you. But the truth. Yeah, yeah. But the truth is there. The, the truth is there. So if you can choose the truth, so you can actually even say yes, that is what the doctor has said. But the truth is, by the stripes of Jesus, I am already healed. I have Amen. the healing in me. Amen. So I choose that and I stand on that, and that is my uh, that is my uh, ground that I'm going to stand on, wow. and I will not change. Wow. Yeah, even if I'm going to go, I'm not saying that you don't continue with the medication or the treatment that you've yes, been given. Yes, yes. But you know, even as you're taking that medication, keep or the treatment, yeah, or that treatment, keep that is not what is healing you. Yes. Healing is already in you, in your spirit, Hallelujah. as a believer. So as you continue in this and continue focusing on that, because you're beholding on the truth, that truth that you're beholding will certainly, it's a, it's a guarantee, will surely manifest. Wow. So we have that knowledge of good and, and evil. evil. Yes. So it is still there. It is good. Yeah. But and there's also, <laughs> and there's also evil. Yeah, yeah. So all these things that happen in this life, we have the choices that we make. And make these choices based on what we already have in us. If I'm focusing so much on the world system, then my choices are be limited in choosing what God has for me. By his grace. Yeah. You say that again. Yeah. Because that, that's the challenge. Yes, that's the challenge, challenge we have yeah. even for believers. It is even for believers because uh, if you believe us, do you do you are maybe by lesana? That is very true. When we focus yeah. on yeah. what the the world system is offering, yes, is offering. People are living as if there yeah. is no God or yeah. as if Jesus didn't die. Yeah, yeah, and it's a choice. You might not be aware of it. It might just be by default thinking that that is how life is. Yeah, come on. But then you see, because we are given this free will. Yeah. Well, I never used to know this also even before. Yes. I used to struggle with this. And we that's all why have I got, that's why I got to this point where I I question and I ask God, God, did you bring me to this life to suffer and struggle? Yet I believe on you, yet Christ died for me. Now I said no. There must be something beyond this. Yes. We were blinded. And probably even some of us are still blinded. You used to ask God that. I, yeah, I used to ask that. Yeah. Whether God brought you yes, here to, to just come and suffer and struggle in this life, work, yeah. try, get yes. money, it, 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 and, uh, and no, it, you have no joy, shida, you have no peace, you but have, you are a believer. You have, have Christ in you. Okay, you have Christ in you. And yeah. people want to see what's yes. the difference between this born again and this other. And you find that there is no difference. There is no difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You find somebody who is a believer is actually worrying, uh, maybe even uh, maybe even more than more than the someone who is not. <laughs> You see some people in the world and you wonder why they, they look like they are doing very well. Exactly. Uh, but that is not the real life. Life is when you are living the spiritual life that is supernatural, that is beyond our natural senses. So it is out of a choice that we make. When you realize... God gave us that gift, uh, gift of free will. Gift of free will. Yeah, you realize that, that you are not living the life that is, yeah. that is in this Bible. Yes, you are yeah. not living that life of a believer. You are not living the life you hear yeah. and that you read yeah. that Jesus died on the cross he said it is finished and yes. he gave us that life and all the promises and all the has, promises yes, and you are wondering yes. how come I, even yeah. in all that I do I don't enjoy this why, I am always I in pain why yeah. what is this that's, yeah. that is remitting me yes. when you realize that yeah. you started yeah. trying to fight out yes. yeah. 
Now I had to decide. I said, God, this you had to make a choice. Now yes. come back again. You had, had to make, make a choice. choice. Yeah. How do you yeah. make choices? Yeah. How are choices made? I was saying that because I'm hearing this is what God has said. Why is it that I'm not enjoying it? Why is it that it's not manifesting in my life? It is not. Yeah? So you yeah. make a choice. How? Yet I have Christ in me. In you. And I'm saying the hope I'm born of again. glory. I am and you testify, I'm born yes. again, yeah. but you just look mm -hmm. defeat. Yes, yeah. Now you remember, even that time, actually, I used to struggle so much with a lot of sicknesses every now and then. Yes, you used to yeah. be sick. Every now and asthma. then. Asthma, you had a challenge with yeah, asthma. Yeah, yeah. Covering, getting sick, what? Uh, all this, uh, yeah. In fact, it was. Uh, the challenge that I have with my I had with my chest that time. Yes. Yeah, but it's no longer there, and it's not because and I was used, treated. And yeah. used to ask, I was treated by this word. By the word. By the and used to ask me, yeah. how can I be in church for right. two hours yeah. and then go afternoon? There is a revival meeting that is there this one week. What is this that you are feeding on? You cannot be in church now and still go again. I come home and I want to follow the word again. Yeah, yeah. And you used to tell me, now again you are following the word. And you are born again. You born still again. want to hear the word. Let's watch a movie. Movies yeah. are good. We watch movies. Yes, yeah. uh, especially yeah. my, this family <laughs> loves movies. Actually, Hope, Daddy, and Dion, all the others. I'm the only one who is trying to come up to love movies. Now, now, I'm also not a movie person. now you are not yeah, a movie person as yeah. you, you used to I'm be. Yeah, used but to be but so you much. can listen Listen to the word of God. You eat the word. You wake up in the morning. I find you listening to yes, great preachers. Yeah. I, you are shaving and you have your TV there on yeah. with yeah. A, just listening I to just the word of God. God. Because, when yeah. I get into your car, <laughs> yeah. the first thing I hear my, my there is that. Is always, 360. You want to listen to the word of God. Yeah, or worship. Yeah. So by that, that's the decision that you make. I made that choice. And you are telling this gentleman here. You yes. are telling this woman here. You're choice. telling them. That it is that choice that you make yeah. in even choosing what to say yeah. and what to hear, yeah. because what we choose and what we say yeah. have consequences. Exactly. That's what you yeah. say. Yes. Keep moving. Yeah. And Keep now moving. You say what you have said is very true. Yes. Now you see the way I was struggling previously. Yes. I was struggling because of what I was feeding myself with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, as you have said, I used to watch movies overnight. Uh, yes. I even you maybe even watch about three or four movies. Yes. One night. Yeah. Yes, I know. But and you did like it, life. and I'm not sitting yeah. with you to watch a movie. Yeah. Look at the life that I was uh, living then. I was struggling. I was struggling all through with the sicknesses. There was no money. My money comes, it goes. It <laughs> you actually are actually asking like why? How come goes. every money, every yeah. coin that comes into your heart just gets lost? Yes. And me, I was earning less than a quarter of yeah. your amount. Yeah, exactly. And I, yeah. I seem to be yeah. doing better. And actually, if, if anything, it is you who, is, who was even at times supporting me. Uh, yeah. And you are earning yes, three earning times more. Yeah. more. But why? why? Because why? I knew now why I knew the time. time. Giving, giving God. God. Yeah. And, and then, then what, what I was feeding myself. Those are the days that I used to give. Yes. <laughs> but but you see when you make a choice and yeah. God is the priority, so you feed yourself with the word of God, yeah. even when you get money, the priority is God. Yeah. So I've seen you give yes, yeah. God. This man yeah. can give God anything. Yeah. This is just like me. And some people think that we are giving this much we because have so we have much. so much. No, As it is not once nor twice that we have cleared our accounts to serve God. Right. And you see us smiling, not knowing that we cleared everything, we have no coin. But God came through for us. Why? Because what we choose and what we say have consequences. Yeah. Feed yourself with the word yeah. of God. Keep moving. Yeah. So what we are feeding ourselves with yes. really matters. Paint that picture and see. See what I am actually testifying of my own self. That I used to struggle because of what I was feeding myself. Movies! Today, yeah. I don't feed myself with the junk that is there in the world. Movies always, a movie yes. is one of now, the junks. As, 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 as I continue to feed myself, myself as, as you are saying, the one morning when I'm shaving, instead of now doing absolutely nothing, let me listen to the word. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And I'm feeding myself. And I'm being now conscious the of, of the spirit more than what is in my natural senses. I'll not be moved by my natural senses. And this is not something that I am actually struggling to do. It, wow. Because of the choice that I've made, now as I feed the fruit of the, uh, the, uh, the spirit, yes. they are manifest without me struggling. Say that again. Yeah. As fruit. you continue feeding, yes, making yeah. that choice to feed yes, yeah. the word that of God, fruit, yeah. that fruit, what grace has provided, flows out uh, yeah, without that much effort.
So you like it when I wake up and the first song, you know, oh oh my God, Sarah, tell you are such an amazing. When we wake up and we feed the word of God, maybe music, the word. Yeah, of course it's good to start Everywhere. with the word start every day in the morning. Starting with the yeah. word. Even before I get out of bed, before I even listen to anything, I fast, thank God, and I worship Him. Even in my silence. Before yes. I, I, before I step out of bed. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then after that, I continue now receiving the word. I read the word before I get out. I am a testimony. Yeah. But you are not yeah. telling them <laughs> yeah. that you only listen to that, that and you don't listen to anything else. No. We also listen, we also, you know, there's also something that makes people happy. The things that we go through, as we get happy because of the word of God, we also listen to uh, Kinakihejo. You know, you listen yeah, to somebody, that. but not that it throughout. Not the main thing. It is not the main thing. Yeah. We listen and you, they are like, I'm listening to you. Why? I also need to laugh. Yeah. Happiness is part of innovation. When you are innovating, you need to be happy. That's what we were being told, taught by Bishop Ogide yesterday. Yes, so yeah. it's part of this. Which is good. So we are not telling you that we always, from 24 hours, we are on the Bible. Yeah. No, 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 that's what we are telling you. But the percentage. It's to have that awareness, consciousness at all times. Of the word that of That you are being led by the Spirit of God. So that even when you're having that happiness as you're enjoying the angel and the others, <laughs> yeah, you choose. For those who don't know is, who angel yeah, is, you choose and when, is. You choose when to listen or to watch to them. Not all the time. Yeah. So that now what dominates your life mm. is what is spiritual. Even news. We yes. watch at times we choose not to watch even news yeah. when some things are happening, at times depending on what is happening, because it will eat up. You know, there's people who sit for you know for one hour. Mm. Or one hour, 20, 30 minutes, yeah. just following news and what happens and what, and then you you get That's so okay. annoyed because yeah. of these two people who are being interviewed and you don't like what they are saying about Senate. How do we share the resources? This one, and then you go to bed having gotten so mad because of somebody who said this and somebody who said this. Can you change to that if you want to live a victorious life? And make see, a choice. And you see, the thing is, it is it doesn't just affect you just for that one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's what you're feeding your spirit man, the inner man. Wow. Yeah. He's so the consequences that. will still come. They might not just happen that night when you go to bed and you start dreaming. Yes. About the and you get annoyed. You sleep annoyed. This you wake have, up annoyed. Yeah. This will have an effect on you even later on. Wow. Yeah. So it is important that you choose. Don't just have that dominating your life. I used to be a victim. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I know I've said that many times. Uh, yeah. That I used to watch 7 o'clock news, 9 o'clock news, 11 o'clock news, and even after they finish, I switch now to CNN and BBC. And <laughs> to know what is happening yeah, in CNN all over, all the, over world. the world. But I always ask myself today, now that I fed myself with all that junk of all the news that I watched, what did you benefit? What did I benefit from it that is helping me today? Today? Nothing. Nothing. Zero. So I said, even knowing yeah, all that is happening I only in the like world. Now knowing highlights. I'll just know the highlights, but I don't want to get the details of everything because as I feed myself with that, then that is going to form me. Patron, uh, yes. Patron there are people here right. who could be watching. Thank God you are watching because this is your beginning, a new beginning, a fresh start. Because the month of August is a, is a beginning month. It's a yeah. new beginning. There are some people who knows more of what is happening internationally. CNN knows the history of America and all that is happening. <laughs> Europe, football, they know football. the best. They know what is happening with Chelsea, yeah. the pre yeah. English Premier, and what is happening Even all Moses, over. Uh, Moses is here. Moses is here. <laughs> there are people who knows all that, but they don't know the scripture to read when they are feeling pain. They don't know the scripture to read from this Bible when they are mourning. They don't know the scripture. They don't know the mind of God over their own health and over their own life. You cannot read a scripture or even quote a scripture and say, even in all this, the Bible says in this particular scripture this. There are so many people who don't know. They've been ignorant. At times we clap to them and think they are successful. Can I tell you, they are very far from being successful. It's uh, only the word of God, yes. the choice you make, the word of God that makes us successful. Yes, uh, yeah. Continue, Patron, yeah. you have. So it's good that you have actually mentioned that because you see, when you say that you, you don't even know where to get to even to read the word, yeah, you're able to hear what is happening in the world. And you know it yeah. every day. And you wonder, and you always ask, how do I hear God? But how come you're able to hear the world? You yeah. know everything yeah, yeah, yeah. that is happening you outside. Know, yes, it is still the same person. It is still you. You're able to hear the world so clearly. Everything uh, happening. Yes, yeah. But you think you don't know how to hear God because you don't have a relationship with Him. 
So wow. how do you get to here? Wow. Yet, you're not even actually building that relationship so that you get to have that intimacy with him. So you will not hear him, but you'll be hearing the evil one so wow. easily. Wow. Uh, you're able to hear the enemy. We always keep on saying it is the devil. The devil is the devil doing this. this. I am at my end. I feel like people. killing myself. Yes. We're able to hear the devil, the evil one. It's just Easy. a decision. Yeah. But we don't hear what God You know, our sister Sarah Kay yes. said in Kamema, oh God, this woman, God bless her yeah. so much. And at 10, I'll be joining yeah. her yeah. in, in yes. worship. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. she's worshiping. And as she said that God cannot fit in our hearts when there is something else. Yeah, yeah. You want God to fit in you, to control, to reign, to take his place. He cannot when there is somebody else seated there. When there are other issues there, when there are other things that we are carrying and they have occupied his place. Why? Because God is a jealous God. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wants the whole of you yeah. for himself. He cannot fit when there is something else. That was powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. True. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We continue so, making choices. We continue. We have, you we have, have to, your five minutes. The there. emphasis is us making the right choices mm -hmm. based on the word of God. The word of what God. What has God said? If you do not know what God has already spoken, because God said, man should not live by bread, bread, bread alone, but by every word, mark that, every word that has come out from the mouth of God. So do you know what God has said? That's why it's important that we behold who? Jesus. And every word yeah. is the and Bible. We, yeah, yeah. And of course, every the Bible word that comes tells from us, God is yeah. the Bible. Yeah, it's a Bible, but it's not everything that is in the Bible that is God's word. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we have to be very careful mm -hmm. what we do. Choose and what that's we, a story. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 we that's a hard yeah, that's, yeah. Don't, don't introduce that. That yeah, is too hard for yeah, yeah. the children not to chill. Right. Yeah, not right don't, now. don't introduce yes, yes. It depends on the know. level of growth to be under, to understand that. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 yeah, but mm -hmm. all the same. Mm -hmm. When you read the scriptures, eh, or even as we teach, because you see now, like the topic that we were having the other day mm -hmm. about forgiveness, about righteousness, this is a choice that yeah, you have to make. Yes, I have to choose. Yeah, that now God has already. Now that I have received Christ, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. So I have to make that choice and now believe for that so that I meditate on every word that God has spoken about my righteousness and how righteous I am now that I am in Christ mm -hmm. so that I believe that and I will not be having the consciousness of yes. sin. Yes. I'll purge because it's only by the blood of Jesus through the cross. I purge the conscience of you uh, that, yes, yeah. What are you saying? Yes, so that? that we avoid, we don't have to be thinking. You see, it's what you're dominated with. Mm -hmm. If you're focusing so much on what is in you or what you have been feeding yourself with, and this is what is in the world, and this is actually now, of course, the devil will come and tell you, Yes. Now look at yourself. What have you done? Yeah. Uh, you insulted so and so. Yes. Yeah? Uh, you are not faithful in this. Yes. Look at this. You have also stolen something. You have taken something even from the office. Yes. Uh, yeah. Even with your own family, uh, yeah. Look at your, uh, yourself and all the things that you're doing. Yes. So the devil is going to bring those thoughts into you, yeah. But you can say no. Everything of what the devil is bringing to you, wow. it was all nailed to the, cross. to the cross. But you have to have to have that truth in Everything you. Everything nailed. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So mm -hmm. you don't have to allow it. Yes. I make that choice and I tell the enemy no. I'm not listening to your voice. Yes. I'm obeying the commandment of God. Yes. And I'm obeying what God has already chosen and given me freely. Yes. That is what I'm receiving. I'm not going to receive that which is coming from the enemy. Like Adam and Eve did. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They made the wrong choice. Wow. Yet God had already told them clearly, yeah, don't touch that tree. Don't touch. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, he didn't say don't touch. He said don't eat. Don't eat. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, uh, I know we are going to continue in this so that we can yeah. have yes yeah we can have now the other scriptures mm -hmm. but it's good to have that discussion mm -hmm. so that we get to see and understand that even as i'm making choices let me base my choices based on the truth say that again yeah, the I choices base, that we make yeah i base it on the truth not the facts it is still good the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. as i give that example of you yes. the doctor and the report that they give yes it is still good because i get to know what is ailing in me uh, but uh, yeah, that is not the truth. So I have to choose. Yes, that is a fact. That is the doctor who has told me that. Yes. But what is God telling me? God has already uh, made me whole. He has already healed me. Okay. So I choose that and I stand on that even as I'm going to continue with the treatment. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. When God tells me that he loves me and he loves me unconditionally, I have to choose and agree with him 
despite the other voices, negative voices are coming to tell me, you know, God cannot love you because of what you have already done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah? mm-hmm. That is the enemy who is speaking to you. Mm-hmm. The same way he spoke to, uh, to Adam and Eve here. And they listened to his voice. And they now allowed him to be the God of the world. So when you give in to the circumstances, you are allowing that to be your God. Say that yeah, again. Yeah. Because there's so many circumstances yes, yeah. around us. Very hard, difficult yes, yeah. circumstances around the people yes. of God. And you are following us right now from all over. And you know so well that the circumstances around you are so hard. And you're asking God, God, come through for me. And here we are telling you that with God all things are possible. And you're like, possible? God, how can this be possible? Yet it is so much yeah. on me. So much on me. Right. The choice. Yeah, the choices. Choices, of course, you say, they have consequences. They have consequences. So uh, when you have that, because you have already been given the power to choose. Yes. Uh, yeah, choose what is right. In Deuteronomy 30.19, of course, this was also for the Israelites. Mm-hmm. But let's just read it because this is the same principle that we have to apply now yes. in our lives. Yes. Today, that's what God said, today I have given you the choice between life and death. It has been laid there. It's for you to choose. Life and death, between yes. blessings and curses. Yes. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Wow. Yeah. You get it? The heaven the, and earth. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, to, witness to witness the choice that you make. The heavens and because the earth. Because honor is going to, God is going to honor the, your choice. Oh. Yeah. So the heavens and the earth are yeah. witnessing yes. Yes. on yeah. the choices that we make. That we make, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. All that you would choose life. Yeah, that is what God actually even advises us. Yeah, that you choose life. He even tells you what to choose. But if you don't choose life and you choose death, yes. God will honor that and you're going to suffer the consequences. Wow. Don't see this as if it is only for what God had said in his word. This is what we go through every day in everything every day. that we do. Yes. Yeah? The choices that we make, they also have, they also have the consequences. consequences. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can make now verse 20. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God, obeying Him. Yeah. Now for us, uh, our obedience is in Christ. Christ's obedience. Now we are, we are obedient to the faith. The faith that wow. is in Christ. It is not a burden to us. For me, is to choose what Jesus has already done for me. And I focus on Him. Is it burdensome? Uh, uh, yeah, it's not burdensome. Yeah, it is light. Uh, yeah, it is light. Uh, yeah. Wow. Pastor Imos is saying, make choices based on the truth yes, yeah. of the word, yes. not on facts. Yeah, not on That's the what facts. you say. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's echoing yeah. back. Thank yes. you so much, yeah. Pastor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I read verse 20 again. Yes. Uh, you can make this choice by loving the Lord your God, obeying Him, and committing yourself firmly to Him. You should commit yourself firmly to Him so that now you walk conscious of the Spirit and not going by your uh, carnal mind. Your the natural senses. Yeah. This is the key to your life. This is the key to your life. And if you love and obey the Lord, you will live long in the land the Lord sought to give your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Wow. Yeah. These are the promises that God gave. Now you already have everything. The promised land is all the promises that God has given us. If you love and obey us. the Lord, yes, you are. will live long. Yeah. And now you see, we are not obeying now according to what was there in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, yeah. it's different. Now obeying the law. For us, yeah, it is believing. In Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now it is, it is actually us now to believe. Yeah. Which is easy now. It, it has been made easier. easy in this Very dispensation. Easy. Yes. God's provision is already there. The same way it was in the, in the Garden of Eden. Yes. Wow. Everything is already laid there for you freely. But now you have to have the knowledge so that you choose what is right. Wow. Are we together? We have but when you have three minutes yeah, yeah, to finish. Yeah, yeah, three minutes. And I, yeah, and I want to give yeah, thanks to yeah, God yeah. for Evren Munyeki. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kyuk Kyuk. Yeah. All the way oh. from Germany. Yeah. What a nona. Thank you so much to be to following me, dear ones. I told that I finish. Uh-huh. Can I read this? Uh, uh, this is in uh, this is what uh, first john 2 16. i uh, open open yeah. ever in first yeah. john uh, three, two, two, uh, uh, first john, john 2 16. 16. open that open judy yeah. open that yeah. uh yeah, so that to we, to just two scriptures Vero Mugambi, open that we are in first, uh, first john, john 
2 chapter 2 and verse 16, 16 to 17 to 17 and now and we can read. connect that with uh, genesis 3 we don't have to do that right now but i want us to read it yes so that we can be thinking of it thank you yeah, but put that at the back of your mind at all times mm -hmm. so that you make the right choices making the right life choice. is good you can live the abundant life by choosing what is right yes so first john 2 mm -hmm. 16 to 17 for the world listen to this yes uh, for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure <laughs> I'm reading from the NLT, New Living Translation. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasures, a craving for everything we see. Yeah, That's why we want to have everything, anything, like anything that you see. Even for our children, they see something, they want it. I want I this. Even for why us, is I see you driving a nice car. I, I want, want it. like yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So craving for everything we see and pride in our achievements and possessions. My Ask, God. See, this is what is happening in the world. Yeah, You are proud of what you have already acquired. Yeah, The possessions that you have and the achievements that you have been able to attain in this life. Wow. Yes, what does the word say? These are not from the Father. What? Yeah? These are not from the, the father. father, but are from this world. Right? Those cravings. Yes, all those are from this world. They are not from the Father. So they will never utamani, give you. Utamani, yes. furani, akona, hi, utamani, kuwa, yes. You will never be fulfilled. You will never have the abundant life. It will always be a struggle because you are depending on what is from the world what? and not from the Father. This is exactly what happened with Adam and Eve. I wish you would take him. Craving uh, yeah, that which is. Yes, yeah. That's why they fell. Because they chose what was in the world, what they were seeing. Yeah. Well, they said that oh, this would be good if we eat it. Oh, yeah, are right? you done with that one? I, yeah, no, I, I finished with this one, the yes. last one, yes. the last part. So I said this is not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away. So this will not last. Along with everything that people crave. And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. Yes. Right? But anyone who does what pleases God will live. Hallelujah. Yeah? Wow. So it's easy in the maximized Bible. Yes. Sir. First John 2, verse 16. Yes. These are the ways of the world. Right. Wanting to please our sinful selves. Exactly. Yeah. Could a man to wake here? Yes, you just yeah. want to be happy with the self. Go it's on. about self, and you see, you can relate that now to what we read in James 3, uh, 14, 15, and 16. About now what is sensual. Yeah. Uh, that is, which is uh, yeah, <laughs> this demonic. Uh, demonic. This this is yes. saying. Yeah. That these are the ways of the world, wanting to please our sinful selves, yeah. wanting the sinful things yeah. we see, <laughs> yes. have, and being too proud of what we yeah. have. Exactly. Ooh, what we have been able to acquire. None of these come from the Father, but all of them come from the world. The world and everything that people want in it are passing away. But the person who does what God wants lives forever. Jehovah, help me, forgive me, help me in Jesus' name. First John chapter number 2, verse 16 and 17. Read with maximized Bible or any other translation so that you may know whether whatever you do is pleasing God, the choices that you have made, whether they are pleasing God or not. Because there are things that you just come and fade away. Yeah. But that which is from God, it will remain forever. I know, Father, I thank you. All of us, that's wow. what we are craving for. Wow. But we are searching for it in the wrong places wow. by focusing on the world. Wow. And yet the world will never give us that fulfillment. Leon is it seeing is a new possible. car with so and so. And he's like, Mom, I want that Subaru. What? I want that one. I have to get it to look like so and so. <laughs> and Hope sees a phone, something. And then Mom, I want this or whatever. Whatever. I want to be like that. Also, I, also me, I saw a car. Oh, God. my! I have a friend. A friend called uh, Baby Tops. I saw her new car. And I'm like, oh, my God. What can I do to get this? Craving, you yeah. just want because so and so has this, you want to have it tomorrow. And yet, we can make a choice wow. and wow. choose wow. 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 what is eternal yeah, by obeying what God has already commanded us. And we will enjoy, and you will not even have that desire. You will not be craving for that. That will just die off. Wow. Yeah, it will just die off. When you continue with this study, you will see it because it's there in the Bible. It is not who is making me, I'm not the one who is making this up. Yes. It's already in there. In the world, but we have to believe it. 
So we make the right choices yeah. now. We make the right choices. And, and when people you choose, are, yes. and when you choose, everything changes. People changes. are in problems because they right. want to be like so and so. Yeah. People are in problems because they have to say this to so and so, yeah. making the wrong choices. And yes, God has already made the provision there wow. for us. Everything that you need in this life is already there on the table. It is you to choose it. You don't have to struggle in this life. Wow. The way the world is telling us that you have to do this so that you can acquire this, so that you can be happy, that is a lie from the The devil. world and everything yeah. that people want, yes, yeah. need, yeah. are passing yeah. away. Yeah. Uh, so but the person who does what yeah. God wants yes. lives forever. I want so, to be that person. Yes. Now, as I finish, uh, I read wow. this last verse. Uh, wow. uh, uh, last uh, verse I'm going to read. Yes. Uh, Romans 6.16. Yeah, I know you also have read this before. Yes. Yeah. Don't you realize, I'm also reading this from the New Living Translation. Mm. Yeah. I hope I'm audible. You know my voice is a bit low. Yes, yeah, yes, I hope it I'm is. audible. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you realize, listen to this, don't you realize that you become a slave of whatever you choose to obey? <laughs> you become a slave of whatever you choose to obey. <laughs> Say that yeah, again. Yeah. Don't you realize? Think about it. Yeah. Don't you realize that you become the slave of what you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, to that nature of Adam, yes, yes. what they chose. Yeah, yeah Romans 6.16. This is in Romans 6.16. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Wow. You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death. Probably maybe even what you're experiencing today is death. Not dying physically. Not dying physically. Yeah, but the things that you're experiencing in your life are all about death. That which was brought by the fall of Adam. Can I read for you uh, in Max uh, Let me finish here. Yeah. Yeah, because it's uh, the last oh, part NLT, of it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We yeah. yes. are reading uh, so, NLT. Uh, yeah, I'm reading from NLT. You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God. So it's a choice <laughs> that you're making. You can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. Hallelujah. This is so good and so easy. Why don't we make the right choices? Yeah. Why don't we make the right choices? The enemy is telling us that I have to do this and struggle so that I can live a good life. It will never come. I have to obey God. Now it is made easy for us because God, God has already provided everything that we need by His grace. So it's a choice for me to choose what grace has provided and by faith I receive it and I enjoy it. So I don't have to listen to these negative voices that are coming to me or what the world is offering me. I say no to that. I make that choice. And the way I did that and I made that choice, my life has been transformed. And I'm continuing to grow in that as I continue beholding Jesus. And I don't focus on the things that are in this world. It's not that I'm not going to be in the world, but not, of the, in the world. World, but not yeah. of the world. So I don't have to keep on craving for that. It's good to have the best. God is going to continue providing. And we're going yeah, to He gives the again. best. So it's yeah. good to have the best house, and the best enjoy. dress, yeah. the yes. best shoe, the Everything. best car, yeah. the best job. It's okay. Yes, Patrick, now, read that, as you finalize with yeah, this now, <laughs> no, no, I want you to say something again. <laughs> yes. Romans 6 and verse 16. This is yeah. maximized Bible. Right. Surely you know that when you give yourselves like slaves, to obey someone, <laughs> then you are really slaves of that person. <laughs> yes. The slave. person you obey yeah. is your master. Mm -hmm. You can follow sin, yeah. which brings spiritual, spiritual death, death. Yeah. or you can obey God, which makes you right, right with Him. Him. Yes, yeah. And of course, yeah, when you seek, yeah, when you seek the kingdom, yeah, and His righteousness. Everything that this world is offering, what we are craving for, yes. all these things are dead to, yes. to you. Yes. It's not that you're going to struggle with them, but we have mm -hmm. to have that understanding. Mm -hmm. That's why it's key to have this wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I may repeat again, yes. I know I've said that it's important even the book of Proverbs, that we keep on reading this book yeah, and the book of Psalms so that we know how to continuously praise and worship God. And at the same time, gain the wisdom that has already been given to us so that we choose what is right going by what the scriptures are teaching us. So if Making you can purpose, choices. yeah, if you can purpose to be reading at least a chapter wow. a day. A chapter uh, a day. Of the book of Proverbs. Yeah. The book of Proverbs. Yes. And yeah. you told me there that you are just yeah. like the days of, of the, the month. month. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Patron, can we welcome back the priest? Team. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let the priest team come and we sing this one song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you partake, as you take the water, Kaidre priest team, where are they all? Uh, let them all come. I pray for those who are getting born again. Grace favor, this one today is slicing, cutting, <laughs> dividing, and dissecting our flesh. Come, even Moses belongs to priesting. 
Wow, <laughs> that is so good. Which is more guy, we need to make right choices. And then uh, at Uya Nauliza, Simon Simon and Nauliza Wagodiri. Emma. That is your husband. Ulimutoa wapi? So Simon, Emma. That is your husband, yes. Ulimutoa wapi kwa makoti. For him to be the way he is, niece. Kwa ma, makoti, yes. and to the glory of God. Trusting Hallelujah. God. Trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. You also bring to the belong to the priesthood. Yes. 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 What a beautiful name it is. What, what a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ the King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. And in that name every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. I want to help you to make the right choice. That your life may be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God. God eh? His dear son, Jesus Christ. I want your life transformed. That's why we are preachers. Our work is to do exactly this, to represent the king of the universe. Mm. And to push for the manifesto, everything that he said he would do. He has done it already and he's continuing to do it. And you cannot live a defeated life when there is a solution. You cannot be crying of pain when there is medication. Amen. That's a Amen. good one. Eh? Yeah. You cannot be crying of pain and there is medication you are there you want to receive jesus as your personal savior just lift your heart there say thank you jesus thank you, thank you jesus for saving me, for saving me. I've, made I've made a choice to live for you, live for you. Forgive, my sins. forgive my sins i am now made new, now made new. In, your kingdom. in your kingdom amen amen, amen. amen. if you made that prayer ladies and gentlemen from kenya and beyond you are already translated to the kingdom of light if jesus happened to come a time like now if jesus happened to come a time like now you are already a saint if jesus happened to come after this your name is written in the book of life and you want to understand that better go read the book of revelation chapter 7 revelation chapter 20 revelation chapter number 21 and now for you i cover you by the blood of jesus i cancel and nullify the works of the enemy over your life and i declare no evil shall ever befall you in jesus mighty name the devil cannot pluck you out of god's kingdom in jesus mighty name amen as we, as we summarize even with the choices yes yeah. yes yes you see uh, if somebody, mm -hmm. if, if I was to mm -hmm. put some poison in this glass, mm -hmm. yeah? yes, poison, yeah? yeah, yes, and you are aware, yes, and I tell you to take this one, you choose not to take it, I cannot, yeah, because you know. Now, yes. we are giving people the truth, the truth, yeah, so that they choose and not take the poison that is in the world, so it's but them to choose, but they refuse to take it, it is them to, cho to <laughs> choose, <laughs> yes, so wow. that you don't take that which is in, wow, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you so much, thank we you. thank God for you, uh, thanks for the Bible study fellowship. 
thanks for joining us PBB members we are truly missing you and we are looking forward to having you again even in church I'm sure this uh, we're going to discuss so that we can actually agree on how we can even be having the fellowships as well yeah even in church because we, we can actually have that time for having the fellowship in church as well mm -hmm. as even as we're having it here mm -hmm. yeah, so that we can get to see you and we finish the fellowships early enough yeah, but that is something that is going to be announced as we continue. As we so, continue. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we are going to address that. Uh, we love you and we thank God for you. And we are looking forward to having you again next week on Tuesday. Thank God you bless so you. Much. We love you so much. I want yeah. to make a point. Mukera 